I'm making my son, as requested, a, a rose potato for lunch. Just gonna cut off the end piece here. So we have the edge. It has a good round flower shape. This is gonna be the bottom of the rows. This will be the top. And I wanna cut um, five lines into the outside to make five outer petals. First off, we're gonna make one line going straight across right here. We're not gonna go straight down. We're gonna put it at a little bit of an angle so it goes in towards this way. Start out with our first petal. I'm not going all the way. I'll just go to about that far. Here comes the next one. I'm stay I'm keeping at an angle. I'm not going straight down. Cut across. Bring it down this way, almost. We have two petals now. We're going in a spiral. We're gonna start a little bit in from the line that we have about right here, about a third or a little bit more than that. And again, just keep cutting at an angle and bring it down to about right there. So we have three petals now, so far. Fourth one, we're gonna measure and go about right here. And then the third one, we're gonna bring it in. We're gonna start bringing the spiral in. We're not gonna cut it out like the other ones. I'll show you. Okay, here's the last one. See how the two, we, it's like a house shape. We have one last petal to go for the outside, but the, this last one starts turning in and we're gonna come inside. We're gonna bring it across to the other petal. So it looks like this. I don't know how well you can pick that up on there. So you have a star shape in the middle too. <clears throat> then we're gonna cut around. We're gonna cut in here. Sometimes I do this and sometimes I don't. This time I'm gonna cut um, out little slivers from besides these petals. Um, and we're not gonna go at a side angle as much. We're we're gonna. We're gonna go more straight down. Very thin slices to bring out these uh, petals. Now we need to make an inner spiral of petals. And I'm going to start with the last petal right here. And this one, we're gonna start uh, halfway in between here. I'm going to make like a triangle cut from one side to the other. And you can go straight down in this. One. You need five petals 
spiraling in. Go to the other corner, two, three, four, five. And in the center, you're gonna cut some space so you can see where the petals are too. And you're actually going to be cutting, um, you're rounding off the top. So you don't want to go straight down. You want to start I don't know how to explain this part. This is, these are the in, inner petals that are uh, enclosed on one another. So we have five outer petals, five inner petals, and we want to separate these petals from each other too. So I'm going to, starting with this one, I'm going to take off this back corner of this triangle and pull that out. And I'm going to do that on each one. There we go. Can see those five petals now. Um, and then we want to get this away from that just a little bit. So um, we're going to get on the side there too. Just really thin slices and separate the flowers from each other. But you don't want too much because there's still work to do on these little petals. Keep going around and doing the same things on each petal. Here. And these right here, we're going to go back and work on them. We have outside work to do, and um, we got to separate these from each other. So on each of these petals, I'm making little slices. It comes off like that. So from the top, it looks like this. And the side, you can see there's a separation now between two flowers and I'm going to do that on each one of these just a little bit coming in and take it out this one is different because it's the, the petal that's coming in so we're going to switch it and do two and this is, should be the biggest one, and they get smaller as you go in. Okay. So I'm gonna take this one off. There we go. Now, we need to see some more um, depth in these flowers. So we're going to carve out a little piece right here of each one of these outer petals. If I can show you how to do this, I'm just cutting off little pieces from the edge to make it look like the flowers are sprouting out just from the top, like about a quarter inch. I think I'm going to do the same thing on these inner petals now, but even tinier slices. Got to be careful with these because they can come off easy.
still have work to do in here, but first I'm going to come around and give these petals um, some work on the outside. That's what that's doing. I'm going to do that on each one of the outside petals. Got to be careful with them because they're getting... I'm pulling it off. Just go down the center of each petal. Make sure you don't go through to the other side. And pull them off. This is what it looks like on the outside now. Okay. I want to round these out. Actually, I'm not too sure if I want to do that today. Yeah, we're going to take off um, the edges of each of the flowers. So just these like little triangles off the sides. Do that on each one of these petals. I just want to make sure you can do the same thing to each petal. There it goes. And then even tinier slices off of the insides. Just little ones. This is a small potato. It's easier when you have a bigger potato. Then you can get more um, flower petals in there, but this is just a really small one. This is sort of the hardest part for me, is finishing the outside petals. Um, I want this to be the peak right here, and I'm trying to take more off from around here, so I have a, on each petal, it's bigger in the middle right here. And I'm taking off the rest of the peel and um, some of the bottom. And if I don't see much differentiation uh, between the petals, I make it more pronounced by taking out some of the corners. Um, you have to judge for yourself how much you can cut into those slice that petal just sort of messed up right there but that's nature so you just work with it some roses aren't perfect it's okay if you leave a little bit on um, on the edge of a petal that looks kind of cool You can stop there or keep going and bring out the petals even more by taking out more from 
the side and it's getting really thin so we can't go do too much cutting. And then I want to thin these out a little bit more too because they look a little bit too fat. And this one's loose. Oops, that one's breaking. Yeah, sometimes I'll start making these and then I'll just break them. I've gotten a lot faster at this, but the first few times I tried it, I didn't have a design or anything or a plan. And this is what I've come up with so far that seems to work. Uh, cutting it in this pattern. And then my favorite part is doing the middle section because it's really the easiest easiest part. Hope I don't mess up on it now. So you just want to start making um, slices like this and then taking little tiny slivers out around it. So you see that? And then um, keep shaping it. It's getting really, the center of a rose is really tight. I wish I had a thinner knife, but I don't. Just a regular paring knife you can get at the store. I always try to get five in there, but sometimes I can't, especially in this part. So I have three so far, and then I'm going to say the last two are just fold it up like that. There. There you go. Another rose uh, for lunch for Max. And um, it'll taste good. I put olive oil on it and salt and uh, garlic, anything you want to put on a potato. And I bake it. Um, I'll cover it up with foil at first so it can really cook and then at the end um, take the foil off and it crisps, crisps up more and it's really good because the flowers um, you can eat the petals one by one and take them off and they're like little rose petal fries okay if you've come this far thanks for watching <laughs>